we've only been aware of the connection between mosquitoes and malaria in the last hundred years and haven't developed any new public health insecticides for over 30. Trouble is, mosquitoes have been evolving for over 170 million years and they're still adapting to protect themselves from major threats. As a result, they're becoming resistant to all four classes of public health insecticides we currently use, including pyrethroids, the only insecticide used for bed nets. With over 60 countries reporting resistance to at least one insecticide and some reporting resistance to all four, this means millions of people are at risk. Resistance spreads through the mosquito population rapidly because they breed like flies and their life cycle is short. So what are we doing about it? Well, we're developing three new classes of insecticide. Each insecticide will have a unique active ingredient which kills the mosquito in a different way from the others. The purpose-built insecticides we're developing will be very effective at killing mosquitoes as well as being safe for people and the environment. By developing three different active ingredients, we'll have three new ways to kill the mosquitoes that spread malaria, three new classes of insecticide for the bed nets and spray programs that save lives and keep people healthy and happy, and three new ways to beat resistance and stop the mosquitoes fighting back. So why is three the magic number? By having three new insecticides, we can do things like this, for example. Spray the walls of homes with insecticide one, and give families bed nets impregnated with insecticide two. This gives high levels of protection as only one in a hundred trillion mosquitoes are naturally resistant to two insecticides. We're then left with a third insecticide that can be used to spray the walls again in about a year's time meaning the mosquitoes don't stand a chance of becoming resistant. At IVCC, we're not just finding a solution to insecticide resistance, we're laying the foundation for a brighter future in vector control.